Hi, I'm Karen Herrick with Herrick Home Team at Remax Encore. Thanks for joining us today. Um, today I wanted to cast a great spotlight on a community organization that I know means a lot to the people in Reading and some of the surrounding communities, and that is Creative Arts. They are located right in downtown Reading, and I am here with their director, Mary Gould. Mary, welcome. Thank you, Karen. Thanks for having me today. Absolutely. This is a special year for us. As you might know, we're celebrating 40 years of being um, of service to the Reading and surrounding communities. That's amazing. Yeah, we were, we were uh, formed in 1978 by a group of parents who wanted to bring more music into their kids' lives. Of course. It started over a dining room table, and it grew by starting in the schools specifically. Mm -hmm. Now we have our own location, and it's at the rear of the First Congregational Church in Reading, right, um, right behind the town hall in Reading Center. That's amazingly convenient for um, parents of young children. And so I know it's a unique organization, but maybe you could help some of the folks that are newer to Reading um, understand you know, what makes community arts unique. Yeah, uh, Creative Arts is really unique because we focus on the education and um, helping students of all ages express their creativity, whether it's in theater or music, uh, private lessons classes, or art with private lessons or classes. Mm -hmm. We very much welcome all, uh, all students of any age and all abilities to come and take classes or come to a, a, a free performance night or anything of that nature. Terrific. Well, Thank you, Mary. I just think it's a terrific resource for our community, and we're so fortunate to have Creative Arts. So if people want to get more information about what's upcoming for this year and this season, where should they go? Well, they can go to the web, of course. Um, our website is www.weteachcreativearts.org. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also have a Facebook page, and I also welcome people to stop by our office. Like I said, right behind the town hall, we're across the parking lot, Monday through Friday, uh, 10 to 4 are our normal hours. And um, it's, it's fun to see the facility, the art studio, our performance spaces, and our classrooms. And uh, I love hearing about what people are looking for for arts education. Well, thank you. I know I've participated in a number of sort of open house events with Creative Arts over the air with my daughter, and we've always found it to be a very welcoming organization, and we've seen some amazing um, student performances as well. So, Mary, I know one question that people have are, what are the kinds of disciplines that their kids or, or students of all ages will get at your school? Yes, uh, so Creative Arts teaches theater, music, and art, as you can see from our logo. And music, we teach private lessons in just about any instrument, piano and voice for sure. Mm -hmm. We also teach traditional and Suzuki strings, mm -hmm. including violin, viola, cello, guitar, and ukulele. And then also we cover all of the band instruments, all of the brass, reed, um, uh, Oh, I think that's it. <laughs> so we also cover all of the band instruments. Well, that's quite a collection. It is. <laughs> <laughs> ukulele. Ukulele, yes, we have ukulele classes. So, uh, and we also cover all the band instruments, uh, uh, all of the brass, including trumpet, trombone, mm -hmm. uh, saxophone, and all of the wind instruments also. Uh, clarinet and um, flute and all of those, um, oboe, anything with a reed. Uh, we have an excellent teacher. Um, we have excellent, we have many excellent teachers that we call upon. That's terrific. Then and we also about, have classes in yeah, music. Okay. We have creative music for tots, which is a great class for um, moms or dads or caretakers to bring their children to on Wednesday mornings. We also have a, a classical guitar ensemble, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is a little bit more advanced that plays classical music. The, the performance night are beautiful whenever they play. Exactly. Yeah, and um, also, so for the art classes, we have a, a really rich collection of art classes, um, starting as young as six years old. Amazing. It's it's a really great uh, it's a really great class. Um, we have uh, drawing and painting for six to nine year olds, and then nine to twelve, and then also older. We have teen portfolio classes and private lessons for teenagers who might be preparing their portfolios for college. Terrific. And then we have two watercolor classes for. Adults 
adults which are gaining in popularity and they're lots of fun. We, uh, we put on music and the adults chat and visit while they do the watercolor and uh, it's been a really successful class, I'm glad to say. Terrific, and I can see where it all gets back into the community where you're oh, open absolutely. to all ages and different forms and formats. Absolutely, when I first came to Creative Arts, one of my first missions for myself was to open up the age range of Creative Arts. We've always been known as Creative Arts for kids, mm -hmm. but I refer to it as Creative Arts, and now we have classes from infants all the way to age 100, literally. That's amazing. So uh, it makes it more of an intergenerational uh, community for everyone, and it's, it's, been, uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun bringing Great. in different communities. It's been Great. fun. I know, and you're a nonprofit and yes. you have a very hardworking board. So thank you so yes. much. <laughs> uh, we'll show more information at the end, but again, thanks for joining us um, on the Herrick Home Report. Take care.